Anyway, back to what I was saying. Ron seems to think that today, right, that it, initially it was, babe, I'm going to have this thing done by Sunday. No doubt. Today, he has a change of heart. And he feels like he going to bang this whole thing out today. So you saw in the last clips, we went to Lowe's, got more supplies. I made him change his clothes. And now he's about to do what I think he thinks is going to be the most intricate part, which is the doors. Yeah? Yeah. So Which, this board, this is going to be the trim. It's going to trim all of this out. One by two. Okay. All right? All right. So one by two here, one by two here. Now the hinges that we got is half inch over the hinges, right? So I need to bring this board in a half inch. Okay. Right? And so the hinge will connect there. But then I'm going to bring this board up just a little bit, just to have a little bit that much. But I measured a half inch here, half inch on that side, cut the board to fit in between. And I need to go with my handy dandy clampy, unless you want to be the clampy. You want me to be the clampy? I clamp you. Trim, the, trim it out first in order for me to, you know, like all of this, I'm just going to trim all the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I'm look not going to trim out the whole thing. Just look at that bottom. trim. Look at that trim compared to, say, the middle. Look at that trim compared to, say, the edge. Look at that trim compared to, say, above the speaker that it seems to still be sitting there. But <laughs> um, look at the trim, how the trim made a difference. Okay. Nice and snug. No holder needed. Huh? No holder needed. Now wait, is it gonna be? Is, it, is there a lip? There's a lip there as well. Okay. Uh oh. You need a holder? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> holder needed. Okay, barbaric. All right, so you see on the ends here? Yeah. I got my upright, and then I got the, the pieces that go in the middle. Right. I'm trying to follow the same detail right here, because I had needed to rip that to go here. And then a one by to go on the top. But now I really don't have nothing to nail to. Okay. So I'm going to go across to the top first with a one by, then come up here and buck that. And you have so something it's a, to it's nail a, it's, to. Yeah, I have something to nail to. I don't like that detail. Cause I like the upright to go up, but uh -huh. that works better. And when you buddy it and yeah. sand, yeah, that yeah. line is no longer there. Yeah. Well, the lines is fine anyway because it's expected to have a line across the frame. But yeah. But I just like that better. Okay. So I need to cut this one off an inch and a half, and that one. You take an inch and a half. So problem solved. Okay. Almost all the bottom is trimmed. Almost. Oh, that looks so much different than nakedness there. Because of this edge, again, it's a lip overhang. So when I put that trim in, it looked like it's tight. Uh -huh. But when I put this on, and it still gives us that that overhang. Yeah. But then the doors, <laughs> I should have went two inches over here because the door is going to be another three quarter inch. So. So it will be flush with this. Kind of is almost like that. So just a little overhang over here. So it'll be just like that much of a over yeah. the door. Yeah, I should have went a two inches. There we go. So it'll be thicker. Well, it just gave me the same overhang as over here. Yeah, maybe. Um, so, once you got it, I mean, is it fine the way it is? The only thing I could do is really just take this out. 
No, I'm it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yep, it's perfect. And I'm going to uh, install this. And you already have your angles cut yeah. so that it can curve around. And then I'm going to glue it to. Glue that and then glue the, glue the seams. Uh huh. Now, this I'm actually going to do flush. To it. Yeah. Flush. And it's not going to. Obscure the doors. Uh, nope. Yeah, I'm gonna go flush. Cause it's gonna be Ooh, flush. Look at that. What's that? Nastiness. Can we sand it? Yeah, we can, but I just dust the back. Put it on. We can sand it. Yeah, I can take it off too. And okay, go take it off because it's gonna it's gonna aggravate you. I know you, and you gonna be ah ah. Look how your assistant come through for you. See down. That would have aggravated him so bad, y'all. He'd have been on that couch thinking about it, looking at it, even though nobody else would have seen it. <laughs> so before we, not if we had sanded it and smoothed it out, but I get it. Mistakes. Who? You. I ain't do that. Who did it? You did it. <laughs> Try to blame. <laughs> Don't make no mistakes the next time. <laughs> you, know I mean? you can't be making no mistakes. Wet it? Yeah. Okay. Remy, do you think I could take a bathroom break? Do you think your dad would allow me to take a bathroom break? Because he's running a freaking, I don't know what type of service this is, but I'm feeling some type of way. Do you think I can go to the bathroom, Remy? Do you allow me to go to the bathroom? Because you like the supervisor number two, so I'm kind of confused. Important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look it. Let me see if I can show it this way. Angle. Bam. Where's the piece? He angled that piece. Oh, look at that. And then that piece is angled. Okay, you ready for me? This is called dry fitting before the actual install, ladies and gentlemen. Cut this one down just a sliver. Very good, baby. Very good. Okay, so we are bottom level complete, I think. But this is what I want to show y'all. This trim edge right here, okay? This trim edge around the bottom top to create I'm in a construction zone. This, can you see that? Yeah. You see that? This right, where my finger at? Right here. This little overhang. Right? And then, this is what it looks like all the way across. Down here. So it's a continuous trim if you look like that. So the bottom trim is done. All the thickness. And then, bam, nothing. Nothing. Nothing, but look at the difference here. So complete looking. We taking a break because I'm damn tired. First. Admire your work, baby. <laughs> I see you. I Admire see your you. work, baby. Go what ahead. If just, what if we just painted the fronts? Painted the fronts of what? Of, of just the, the, what we just did. Like, do we need to paint all the inside? We don't need to paint the inside. You saying, wait, hold up. Let me put this drink down. You saying the insides of where the doors are going to be closed? Yeah. 
Now, where the doors are closed, no, because it's going to be storage. That's where I'm putting stuff at. All that's closed off, but anything that is open has to be painted. But behind the doors, no. I'm just, I'm just, you know. just everything, just only paint this and leave everything else that cream. Mm. No, okay. sir. Okay. No, <laughs> sir. Read, buddy. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> now, since since it's gonna be a half inch, that means I need to add an inch because a half inch, half inch goes more and that'd be thirty. Now this is. It's going to be a little lip, like a three-inch lip. It's going to insert inside of the groove on this uh -huh. rail, I think it's called. So I need 17 and 5 eighths plus the inch for the overlay plus three-eighths times two, which is three-quarters. What's that? What's five eighths plus three-quarters? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and you think I do. Any calculator know though. A lot of spoosion on the saw to make it make it work. A lot of who? Spoosion. What is spoosion? <laughs> you made listen, it up. Listen, listen. If you can say a word, spell it, and use it in a sentence, it's a word. Well, spell spoosion. <laughs> Since you say you if you can spell it. Maybe it's not a word. Yet. Okay. I can spell spoosion. I want to cut off the factory edge. Uh, you see all the little imperfections on the factory edge? Mm -hmm. So I want to cut that off, get it straight. Okay. Alright. Now, what I need to do is that I need to sort of like do a slip down this whole front the width on that edge yeah this thin little edge right here yep the three eighths deep do that with three eighths is all the way down the piece oh the pieces because what's going to happen is that <coughs> this board mm -hmm. is going to go in between that slot. How far deep? Three eighths. Okay, deep in, all the way around. Yeah. And I'm just gonna cut the red. I'm gonna cut all the pieces first. We're actually gonna do a test piece. Okay. Because if the test piece failed, then what does that mean? If the test piece failed on this finger jointed wood, then we're going back and get the solid stuff. Okay. All right. <laughs> that you saw originally. Yeah. Okay. And I need to find my um it's three quarters, so that'd be three eighths right in the middle. And set my saw blade to three inch three eighths inch high. To make that little indention slip, mm -hmm. right? And what I do instead of using my boards that I cut, I'm gonna use me a sacrificial board. You <laughs> got to get sacrificed. <laughs> so testing with the scrap. Testing with scrap. So come over here. Okay. Yes, Professor. Oh. And again, I want to try. To Babe, now your fingers aren't gonna be near that, is it? Yeah. They are. Yeah. I mean near the blade. Yeah. Ron, please. See, I want to get right in the middle of that. See that? Oh my god. Yes, I see. And I want it three eighths high. Right? So you've so already I'm raised gonna, it three eighths high. Lower it just a little bit. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna lock it in. I'm so damn nervous. Baby, please. Well, I mean I, 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 It's exactly a three eighths. Okay. Exactly. You see that? Yep. Right. We got to get that slot. Right? The thickness of that board. 
Well, ain't that board three eighths? That board a quarter. So oh. I gotta go through through once and then take my um rail and just go over just a little bit. So we got this was that piece that we cut. But if you look in there, it's just not as clean as okay. it needs to be. Okay. Because I didn't do that first middle rip. Okay. So I'm going to use this board again to try to get right back to this where I'm at. Uh huh. Because I got all of my styles and rails cut. Already. Already. All right. That's all of them. It's, it's, these are the two bigger doors, and then these are the four smaller doors, right? But before I run them through, I want to make sure it's just grew. Wait a minute. You said those are the two bigger doors. It's the two bigger doors. Right. And these are the four smaller doors. What four smaller doors, baby? It's two. It's two compartments. It's the oh, the one, the middle section is gonna have four doors across. Four. Got yeah. you. And they're gonna open up like that, right? Yeah. And so, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna, cause I think that this this groove that's in there, like that little nasty, it's gonna stop that board from going. Let in me that. get in there. Get, turn around so I can get in the hole. Oh. Huh. Let me get. <laughs> get. Your, oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. Now that's good. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Measure for the doors. Oh. Right? So my opening. It's about 17 and 5 inches. Right? Mm -hmm. 17 and 5 eighths. And my height is 29. 29, right? Now these vertical pieces, right, they're called styles. It's going to be on either side of the door, right? Oh, yeah. All the way up. And it's going to extend a half inch up and a half inch down. So my styles need to be an inch longer than my measurement. You got that? Mm-hmm. Right, so that's 30. That's easy. And that'll be the groove that go all the way down the, the middle, right? That, the, we just did. Now the rails, right, that go in between the styles, I need the measurement of what that's going to be. So that's going to be two of these, which is five inches, because these two and a half inches, right? So it's going to be five inches minus the opening. So the opening is 17 and 5 eighths. So automatically, I'm minusing five inches for the, the um, styles on the side. Then I'm going to have on the middle piece a 3 eighths tongue that's going to go into that groove. Right? So it's going to be 3 eighths on this side. And three eighths on that side. So that's three quarters. So I'm going to do my measurement. So I'm going to add three quarters to, to that. So that should be. And Danny calculator. Uh -huh. you know, I love my calculator. <laughs> I know you do. Five eighths. Um, minus, well, plus the one inch. So that's the, the um right the overlay plus the one inch and then minus the five inches and then it's gonna be plus the three quarter inch that I need to overcut the board. So it's gonna be fourteen and three eighths. Okay. That's gonna be my middle pieces, fourteen and three eighths. Okay. All right. Same thing with that. The only difference is is that instead of me having two styles, I'll have um, I'll have four all together. But still, it'll be still two two. Um, it'll still be two styles. So I'll just take that and then I'll divide that by two, and that'll be my my doors. Okay. Same concept. Okay. Okay. That's pretty easy, right? Sound complicated as hell. <laughs> but you know it in your brain, and it made total sense coming out your mouth. But those of us that are watching you, myself 
including the family here viewing, we lost his hell. <laughs> Unless it's a carpenter in the mix, you get him, we don't, we just ready. That's it. Okay. That's it. And I'm going to go cut all of those boards. I'm going to have, I'm going to cut them all, all at the same time, and then I'm going to rip them through the saw, and then I'll assume. You need my help? Mm -hmm. Huh? No. Okay, I got all my grooves cut, and all of these pieces of wood. Okay. All right, and they fit in between that just fine. All right. Now what I need to do is make my 3 eighths groove to go in here to lock that in place. So I got to have a tongue. That was that 3 eighths and 3 eighths that I was talking about to equal 3 quarters extra. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set this up, first of all, to try to find my 3 eighths mark. Mm -hmm. I can mark it, but it's, it's weird the way I can like mark 3 eighths. That's what they need to be. Okay. But the blade don't always line up with what you mark. Okay. Right. And so I need to figure out first of all where to set my rail. Right. And then I need to figure out how deep to set my blade in order to make it when I go out on that side and go out on that side, it's three eighths left over. Well, actually, a quarter inch left over. Okay. A quarter inch because that's the groove so I'm gonna try what I got set up now To get this as thick as the slot. Right now, I look a little. I'm gonna try it, but like maybe a little heavy. But I'm gonna try it. So I need to just send this down until I whittle that away. I like that word, whittle. Okay, see. <laughs> right. All right. So you just created a ghetto groove. <laughs> tone. That is the ghetto tone. Now, was there a simpler way to do this? Yeah, with a dado blade. Okay. Like if I had a dado blade, it can be, like instead of this just being an eighth inch thick, that dado blade can go up to like an like inch and an eighth. You, you know, could have set it work. exactly where you wanted yep, it. you set them up and put the sh uh, shims on and making them as wide as you, you need them. But the whole goal is to try it there. Okay. So we get this thing to slide up in there. Feel good. It. You in now? Like swimwear. Bam! <laughs> 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 All right. Now look, now look. Also, this is important too. So this groove actually needs to go a little bit more in there. That, that space is not yeah. needed. Right. So that means that this needs to be a little longer. That means that my rail needs to go out just a little bit more. To create a little bit length. To be a little bit more groove. Right. Groove. Well toned. Yeah. Okay. So. Mark it. And so once you get this piece again, exactly going in there, every single one you do. With the thing set, will go in every one with no problem. Yeah, You're done. You create your own oh. dado blade. <laughs> Ghetto blade. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we ran it the, gro the grooves on one end. It all makes sense now. Okay. Ran all the grooves. Then that jig I set up for that lip. Mm-hmm. Okay. You see, it's even down for that groove. Okay. And so, we put it together. Okay. 
supposed to be tight. Okay. You like it tight. To have, of course, the panel going there. Okay, yeah. That piece outside on the yeah. ground. Okay. Now, so we, I need to, again, dry fitting. <laughs> dry fitting. So, this is measure. Should measure. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your mat? Because it's going, two of them are going to go here. Yeah. So, that's 40. All right. <laughs> so, this should measure half of 40, which is 20. Right. Plus the half that goes over. Okay. All right. Oh, what? It's twenty. Huh? It's twenty and seven sixteenths. Is that bad? I'm a sixteenth off. <laughs> Seriously? That sixteenth ain't nothing. Okay, well, why you scared me then? <laughs> so, so this goes. Oh, like so. So that'll be the door with the panel in it, and then one here. Like that, so that's it, that you, you just soft closes, soft close. Hey, and then I gotta when I, when I put this all together, clamp it and let it glue, let it dry. Glue it, glue the seams there. Mm -hmm. I don't have to glue the panel, but just glue the seams, make sure it's square with the diagonal check, and then let it sit for about three hours. No nails, no screws, no nothing, it's just all. Fitted and glued. Okay. And that's it. So, so I'm gonna the, to be two here, two two of these here, and two here. So a total of four on this bottom part, and then one big one here, and one big one here. All right. I'm about to go and cut the rest of the um. I'm so Rails. proud of you, baby. You did an amazing. You built a whole freaking door. Yeah, you look at it, man. Look at that. Look at that. Hey. Look at that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find a picture of a dado blade and put it on the screen so that they can see what you sh would have normally used yeah, right. to make your life yeah. probably easier. Yeah, a lot easier because I only would have had to make one pass. Just one pass. As opposed to like. Just, just yeah. Doing it, yeah. But you still did an amazing job without the tool. Alright, I'm going in. Okay. Ouch. Alright, next section is to cut the panels. And it's groove go all the way around. Mm-hmm. So and it's three eighths in. Three on either, eighths in. On either side. Okay. So it's twenty-five. You're measuring the inside edge. I'm measuring the inside, yeah. Inside, okay. inside, 25. Okay. And 13 and 11 sixteenths. Okay. Now, three-eighths that way, three-eighths that way. So that's that three-quarters that we add. All right, so 25 and three-quarters, five and five-eighths. Take off an eighth. And then 13, 11, 16. Oh, God. What's that? What's three quarters? What is that? Babe, what's what that? I don't know what that is. What's the calculator? Here. 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 <laughs> All right. So we adding five eighths. Adding it to what? To the measurement. Okay. 13, 11, 16, and we're going to add five eighths. Uh-uh. No, it ain't. It's in there. Look at it. It's in there. <laughs> okay, look. This is the hinge that I chose right here. Is that not just so pretty? It's so pretty. Look at that hinge. Oh. How did that even go on? With the screws right there. Oh, okay, I see it. Huh. That's so pretty. Ew. Open the door and soft close. And. <laughs> <laughs> 
Baby, you did an amazing job. Did it, did it beat you? Nope. Huh? Nope. You beat it. That's right. That's door number one. Door number one. Complete. Look at us. Let me just, let me just sit there right there. Look at that. Look at that. Open the door and get my pillows out and my candles. Ah! <laughs> That's so nice! <laughs> Okay, so all the pieces have been clamped and they're setting up for going around three hours. This man think he's gonna pull it all night or come back and then do the other one so that tomorrow we install or no. So basically no okay, so let me say this. No nails for these are all the doors, okay? All these are the doors, and there's no nails at all in this. It's all glue at the joints, clamped together to hold it, to secure it. It takes three hours, four give or take, to glue all this together, right? And so this is where we're going to end the video at, actually, because tomorrow he'll go over there and put the doors on, right? Okay, doors on. So this is where we're going to end the video at tonight as a cliffhanger for you guys. And then the next phase for the remainder, it will go tomorrow. So thank y'all guys for watching this video. I know it was long. Some of you have requested long videos. There's a lot of detail packed into this video. And I wanted to showcase my man actually building this huge beautiful thing for me and yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow because we are dog tired